Hey everyone, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week, we're going to show you how to cure and smoke salmon on the Rec Tech. Stick around! Hey, okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started on how we're going to cure this. Uh, today we got some sockeye salmon that we're going to do. You're going to take two cups of light brown sugar. And you're going with a, you want to do a cup of kosher salt. Put that in. To that, we're going to add a tablespoon of black pepper and two tablespoons of your favorite seafood seasoning. Today, I'm using Finn and Fur from my butcher shop, Wilkes. So we're just going to mix this up, get it all incorporated really well. So we got that real mi good mixed. So we got a plastic container here. What we're going to do is we're going to take some handfuls of this mixture and put it down on the bottom to give it like a bed for that fish to lay in. Gonna grab our fillets. You see these real nice sockeye salmon fillets that we picked up. Lay them in on top of that mixture and then you're gonna top it with it as well. And you wanna cover the fish completely. So you want to let this sit for a minimum of two hours. I probably won't go over six or eight hours because it may make the fish a little bit too salty, but at least two hours, put it in the refrigerator, covered. And with the magic of YouTube, we have already done up two fillets of this. Uh, we've, we let this sit about six hours overnight. Uh, one thing you want to be certain of, when you bring it out of the, the curing mixture, you want to put it on a wire rack Elevate it a little bit and make sure it's completely dry. What this will do is you'll, you'll start to see there's almost like a, uh, a skin that's formed. It's called the pellicle on that fish and it's gonna enable you to get the smoke to adhere to the fish better during the smoking process. So these are ready to go on. We have our rec tech running on extreme smoke at about 180. It's probably gonna take about two hours and we're gonna be able to give this salmon a try. Stick around. You want to come over? About an hour in, we'll start start glazing. Okay, everyone, we're about a little over an hour into this fish. It's looking good, it's setting up real nice. We're gonna go ahead and probe it. I'm shooting for like 140, 145. We're sitting at about 112 on both of them. I'm gonna start glazing this. And what I've done is I've taken two tablespoons of honey and four tablespoons of Daigle's pecan garlic heat, mixed them together, heated it up a little bit. And we're just going to glaze the outside of this fish a few times before it finishes. I'm going to let it go for about probably another 45 minutes and we'll check it again. Okay, everyone. I think we're probably at temp on, the, on this salmon. Yeah, we're, we're hitting 140... 145 that's where I wanted to be on this same with that one we're going to go ahead and pull this off one thing you'll notice when we smoke this when you're cooking any kind of salmon it has very high protein very high fat you want to do it low and slow that way you're not getting any of that albumin bleeding out of the fish where it almost kind of leaves like a white slime on it we didn't have any of that here these fish turned out perfect we can't wait to give them a try okay everybody so we're going to go ahead and try our smoked salmon. You can see here we got a nice little spread. This would be perfect if you're tailgating, kind of like we're doing today, watching some football. And I think I'm going to try the salmon first alone and then try it with a cracker. Oh, man. Mmm. That is good. A little salty, a little sweet. 
It's perfect. We're gonna first thing I'm gonna do is get some of this bacon jam and cream cheese put on there. I'm gonna get a piece of this salmon. Set it on top of there. Isn't that a cute little hors d'oeuvre? Mmm. Mmm. Very good. That cream cheese and bacon jam takes it to another level. Make sure you like and subscribe. Get some! Get the song.